Hey guys, today I want to show you how to fix vocal timing in Cubase 9. Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown Online. I hope you're doing good. Now, if this is your first time here, click on the subscribe button below so you don't miss a thing. Um, now, to get into the video, um, what I want to show you today is how to tie it up and fix a vocal track uh, within the tempo and the rhythm of the song. Now, in this example, the singer recorded this as a vocal take twice in a row. Um, so what I'm going to try to do here is to make sure, uh, in this part of the song anyways, to make sure the, uh, uh, the take number one is very tight with take number two and then I want to make sure they're both tight with the music um, and the groove of the music so uh, let's first listen to the part we're gonna work on Okay, cool. So uh, what I'm first going to do here is uh, I'm going to mute my second track and work on the first take. And I'm going to use the quantize audio okay, option in Cubase. So I'm going to go on top here and open the quantize panel. And um, I'm going to try a few things here. Uh, first, we're going to activate audio warp. And uh, I'm going to set up my... I'm just going to you know, quantize that at uh, 1 16th of a note. And we'll, you know, we'll listen to what that does. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. Oh. We all need okay, so that doesn't work at all. And the reason is simple. Um, that is because of the groove of the song, which has a bit of a kind of a swing uh, twist to it. Okay, so what we need to do here is, first of all, I'm just going to undo this. Uh, and I'm going to add a bit of uh, a swing percentage in my quantize panel. So I'm going to put that to 75%. So when Cube is going to quantize that vocal, it's going to add a bit of swing, okay? A 75% um, swing to uh, the quantize. So let's listen to what that does. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. Oh. We all need some okay, a bit better, a bit better, but not quite it, okay? Um, now let's activate the IQ mode, okay? What that is going to do is it's going to, add a bit of loose to the quantize, okay? So it's not like right on the grid. So, uh, which makes it a bit more natural, especially uh, when it's not like an electronic or dance song. And now we're talking about an acoustic song that was played by a real drummer. Uh, that played on the click, so it's pretty close to grid, but still, it's st we still have that human feel. So uh, by adding a bit of uh, IQ mode, it's gonna add a bit more or keep a bit more of that human feel. Um, so let's add um, maybe an amount of 50 to the IQ mode and quantize that again and listen to what we have. Okay, not perfect, but you know, it's getting there. So this is basically going to be my start point. Um, now, from that point on, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same here and apply the same setting, the same quantize settings to my second track. And I'm going to close that panel. Now, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of the editing manually. So I am going to double click on that event. And now we have our sample editor uh, that is open. And we're on the left side of the editor. I'm going to open the tab Audio Warp. And I'm going to go into the free warp section and make sure this is activated. So now we see here what the quantize did to the audio. So we, ha we have all of these points that were added um, that we can move around manually. Okay, so um, I am going to mute. Okay, the second track is already muted. So we're going to listen and fix a few things up. I just might have all right, right there. So I'm going to add another point here and drag this one up. I just might okay. Okay, I'm going to move this one down a bit and move this one up. Okay, so by moving all of these points, you're moving the wave, basically, and, you know, you're just going to use your ears to tight everything up. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, the mic is a bit late. Okay, 
Okay, this is the end. I'm just gonna drag this. Actually, you know what? Uh, I am gonna add another point just before it, so it's only moving what's coming after. Alright, okay, so this sounds pretty tight to my ears anyways, so um, now I'm gonna listen to the second track, open the editor, and do the same here and match it to the first track. Okay, that's good. I just might have a problem. Maybe the have is a bit rushy. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. Oh. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. Oh, oh let me check here. And one last edit here. Alright, that sounds pretty tight together. Now, uh, there's only one thing though. Um, if we listen carefully on this line, that you'll, that you'll understand right here. That you'll there's a ch on the second take. That you'll okay, opposed to the first take. Problem. That you'll understand. Okay, what I'm gonna do here, uh, since this is a bit disturbing for me anyways, uh, I'm just gonna remove it and listen to what that does. Problem that you'll understand. Okay, that can work, but I'm just gonna smooth that up by adding a fade in to this segment. Problem that you'll understand. Oh. Okay, cool, that sounds pretty good. Now, uh, let's compare to what we had before. I'm gonna mute these and unmute the original. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. Oh. Okay, and now what we get is this. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. Oh. So there you go, guys. That's pretty cool. So I managed to do this by using the Quantize Audio to start with, and then I just did the rest by uh, going to manual mode. Now, um, another way we can do this is basically do the entire thing manually without. Uh, without using the quantize option, okay? Um, this could actually uh, work very well, especially with this type of uh, recording, which is more acoustic uh, instrument recording opposed to a dance or an electronic uh, recording um, that is usually right on the grid. Uh, what I would do here is I would probably go into manual mode instead of using the quantize option. Um, so that is another way you can do it. So let's try it out and see... What is the best? You can actually judge by yourself which of uh, which one you like best. Okay, so first what we're gonna do here is mute our second track again, double click, and you go into the audio warp, you click on the free warp, it was already activated. So let's activate that again, and there you go. Um, and now we can just do everything manually by adding our points, uh, all the points ourselves. So what I'm doing here basically is I'm listening to the drum groove and I'm matching everything by ear, okay? So I, I don't necessarily look at the grid and match it to the grid, but I just match it to what I'm hearing. Alright, so that sounds pretty tight. Let's work on the second one. Once the first one is done, uh, you can actually just look 
on the track here uh, and just match it visually, you know, if that works. That could be a good start point for you. Like this one, I'm going to move. So if I don't want to move the entire thing, because if I just add one point here and move it, it's going to move everything. So if I add more than one, it's going to move the second one. So if I only want to move one section without moving what comes next, what I need to do is uh, just to add some points, some extra points. So now I'm moving only this, uh, this wave here. So I'm going to do the same here. Okay, let's move this one as well. Okay, that's pretty tight. All right, so now let's fix that line, the same line we fixed earlier. Okay, that chul. I'm gonna get rid of that again. Fade that in. And that should do it. Okay, now let's uh, listen to what we started with. All right, opposed to what we did. Pretty cool. So this is way more tighter within each other and with the track itself. So this is basically how I work this out using Time Warp in Cubase. Um, I would say, you know, the best tip I have for you for this kind of stuff is to get it right at the source so you can avoid doing a lot of editing. Um, so that's my take on it anyways. It's fun to edit stuff. It's very, very good to know how to edit stuff when we need to, but the best is always to get it right at the source. So if you're a producer, if you uh, produce your own music, or you're the singer recording your own vocals, uh, make sure you, um, you, you sing tight to the groove so you can avoid doing a lot of editing afterwards. Uh, but if you need to, this is how you do it. So if you have any other ways of doing so, whatever it's in Cubase or in other DAW, please share your comments below. Or if you have any questions, you can actually leave your questions below in the comment section. So I hope that helps. If you like the video, please click on like and share. That helps the channel a lot and that will help me out and help you guys out at the same time. All right, guys. So until next time, see you.